Hey, this is Don't Try What I Do with the bike check. I got the red line asset. As you can see right there, let me focus. The red line asset. I'm recording this on an iPhone 4, so it might not be the best quality, but it's whatever. It's the only thing I got. Um, I got stock red line bars. Uh, I think they're um, 22 long. I'm not really sure, but yeah, they're pretty wide. I like riding wide bars. I got the hexagon grips with red line bar ends. I'm not sure if that says red line. Yeah, it does. Plastic bar ends. This grip's like coming off, and that one's going in like that way. I'm running, I uh, forgot what brake lever that is. I think it's a red line and a red brake cable going down down to the Odyssey U brake with clear brake pads and I'm running a Shadow Conspiracy sprocket and chain red color I got the Odyssey twisted pedals see it says twisted right there I like them they're pretty good um, they don't really work with shoes that don't have grip on the bottom because that's what I was riding with at first, but they work now. Yes, I still have the reflectors. It's whatever. I got the Redline three-piece crank um, unscrewed into the sprocket. It's just a little nub that goes into the sprocket. It's not a screw. I got chode bolts in the back and skinny bolts in the front. I'm running the red and on black alienation rims with Odyssey tires and just original tubes that came in it. Same in the back, alienation black on red, Odyssey tires. Um I got the pivotal red on gray seat. I'm not really sure what type of seat it what is. I just thought it looked tight so I bought it. If for those who don't know what Pivotal is, Pivot, at least I think this is what Pivotal is, but it's where like you just stick your Allen wrench in this hole right here, down in this hole. I can't get my finger out, but there's like a little slit right there. Let me focus on that. And there's an Allen, or an Allen screw in there, and it goes down into this. You just pivot it to where you want with these teeth and put it in there. If you want to put a pivotal seat on your bike, it does not come with, or most of them do not come with this seat post. You'll have to buy the seat post too. That setup right there was four or forty dollars. This bike in total was four hundred fifty with the accessories. Um, I get everything. Oh, I got the Redline Hollow Point headset and a sealed. I mean, hollow point, red line hollow point seal, or, oh my god, what's it called? I just blanked out. Stem, hollow point stem, with the hollow right there. And then I got a sealed FSA headset, I think it's FSA. Pretty sure it's FSA. I'm running the red line forks with the red line sticker on it. I like the stickers, that's why I haven't taken them off. I think they look pretty cool. Um... Look, my tattoo matches my bike. It's red. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, if anybody can tell me how to make a master link not be in the chain, like I don't know how to get those little pins back in there because I don't want this master link right here. I just want a red piece right there. Or maybe I'll just anodize this part red. I ride dirt a lot, so my chain's really dirty. My whole bike's dusty. Anyway, so that's my bike. Um, I got the um, built-in clamp. I don't have like an actual clamp on this piece. It's built-in. There's like a slit in my tube right here. Alright, that's my bike. Now for the stuff I'm selling. I'm selling this chain right here. It's for a 25-9 ratio because it came off this bike, well I bought this chain and I had to take some of off of it some links off of it because 
that's what you have to do. I, it had a red line chain on it. I don't know what type of chain this is. I just bought it maybe like two months ago. But I didn't even have a bike two months ago. I've had this bike for like maybe a week and a half. I bought this chain for my mountain bike, but I decided to put it on here. Anyways, yeah. I'm selling this and this sprocket. I will anodize or paint, whichever you want me to do. The sprocket, if you buy it, and if you want, like if you have like a blue and black theme or something, like I'll anodize the sprocket blue. Or like if you had like a yellow and blue theme or some like two different colors, like, like, I don't even know, just like yellow and blue, even though that's retarded. But like, I would anodize this blue, the sprocket blue, and then the spacer yellow, if you wanted me to, or painted it, or I would paint it, whatever. And I'm selling this seat. It's a red line seat. It's got the red line uh, logo on it. It's black and red, and a little bit of gray, or black, whatever. I had to ask everybody what color this stuff was because I'm colorblind, so when I bought all this stuff, I was like, what color is this? But the seat's really, like, it's in super good condition. I've never wrecked with it. I've never wrecked with that one either. I never wreck. Anyways. <laughs> but, uh, this is not a pivotal seat. It's a clamp seat. I mean, you could pivot it with loosening those bolts, and then it pivots in those little grooves right there right there I don't know if you can see it anyways so you can get all three of these things for $45 if you want this anodized then I'll do it for 65 if you buy the chain and you want the chain anodized I'll do it for 80 if you want the spacer anodized I'll do it for 82 with the seat and seat post. If you get the seat post and it's all grinded on the back right there where those like little engravings are, it's because my serial number's on that to my bike and I don't want people to see that. I don't know, it was just a tip that someone gave me to do. So it's probably gonna be all grinded down or sanded. Um what else do I have? I think that's it. Oh, and red line forks, but I think I already said that. Chode bolt in the back, skinny bolt in the front. I could run pegs, because there is enough room on here for twist on pegs, but I think pegs are retarded because I don't grind, and they make your bike super more heavy. Anyways, Odyssey tires, twisted pedals, what else? I think that's it. Alright, that concludes my bike check.